guys and welcome to today's video where I am offering my geckos wax moths. So you get wax worms, they tend to pupate quite quickly and you end up with lots of moths. Usually I'd say either keep them as breeders, and I have done a video on that, or keep them as feeders because I think you should utilise the entire life cycle of the insects. Like even with the mealworms they'll turn into beetles and you can technically offer them. Um, wax moths will, if let out in the wild, will lay their eggs in beehives and waxworms can be incredibly destructive to beehives. So we're kind of saving the bees by doing this. But the reason I wanted to offer them, and also I haven't opened the lid because one will fly out. The reason I wanted to offer these to my geckos is because I've fed them them before and they go absolutely hyper for them. So if you think your gecko's a bit lazy, it doesn't really get much exercise, it doesn't really hunt down its food, try these. It's like wax worms, but with wings in terms of like the reaction. So let's start off with Gizmo. I don't usually feed them with the light on, but I thought you'd see things a lot better if I did. So, oh God, right. <laughs> I swear she does usually go hyper for these, okay. Yes. Now I haven't dusted the wax moth and nutrition wise they're probably you know little to nothing really but variety I think is key and <laughs> it's just walking going about its day um, and I think that this really physically stimulates them it gets them moving I mean gizmo is completely in the wrong direction. Now one thing you may find is if you have a setup like this where there's lots of cracks and crevices the moth may get away, but it will either emerge and a gecko will get it, or it will live out its days in the tank. Now I tend to only add in one moth because I don't want them breeding in here, but it's just, you know, it's an insect that will really get them moving. I think, you know, Gizmo's gone back in her hide now, it's probably because the light is on. I just thought that'd be easier to film, but I'm sure once I turn the light off, she'll go hunting for that moth. Okay, now it's Minnie's go. I have taken her water bowl out just so we can see a little bit better when she's having a little run around, if she notices. Minnie! Give me Minnie! Now, if you didn't know, Minnie's eyesight is a little dodgy, but you know what? She sometimes surprises us. Minnie! Oh! What's that? Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh! Oh god, Minnie nearly almost got it! Mm. Minnie is in the cave with you. She's found it. Oh, oh. See, it's somewhere in the cave. This is something you'll find if you feed moths. Uh, they will find a way out. And the actual catch rate is a little low. I think they do eventually find them, but it certainly gets them to move about a bit. Look how big Diego succulent has got. There are two pups on it that I really need to get off and be repotted but anyway uh diego is quite secretive in here he likes to hang out by that hide or just underneath it and since i put the light on he might be even more secretive um so we're gonna have to try to lure him out oh 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 no oh diego <laughs> oh it survives i almost want it to survive now <laughs> i don't know what's going on in that hide has he, oh Jesus, it's flew out. Oh, oh, you nearly got it, Diego. This, you know, you need a lot of skill for this. I think the moth's on the camera. Oh, Diego, <laughs> you landed on your head. Diego, where's it gone? I bet it's gonna come flying out of that hide in a moment. I cannot believe that. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know, I don't know how they'd react if you offered like, quite a few moths at a time. I would just be wary that they might breed in the tank. Um, but I mean, it gets them like sort of moving and excited. And a lot of the time with our reptiles, you know, they need that physical and mental enrichment. And a wax moth provides, and I do feel bad. I often feel bad about feeding insects, but uh, it is the way of life for the leopard gecko. And as I said at the beginning, Wax moths, if they lay their eggs in beehives, it can be incredibly destructive. So we're saving the bees in a way like that. I'm not sure what's happening now. Diego has retreated. So it's kind of like Schrodinger's moth. It is both dead and alive right now. But <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this little feeding video. Try it yourself. If you are on Instagram or Twitter, you can tweet me a 
video. Oh, has he found something? <laughs> you can tweet me a video or tag me in a video um, and uh, see how your geckos react to wax moths. Because oftentimes, wax worms metamorphosize so quickly and you end up with loads of moths. And as I said, you can breed them or you can feed them. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye. Bye.